But first, we have an update to breaking news we first brought you on WGEM.com. WGEM's Dylan Smith is live in Macomb with more about an ongoing death investigation there. Dylan? Daniel and McKenzie, police have been tight-lipped about what's going on in this Macomb neighborhood. Now, just about 20 minutes ago, they did um, wrap up the scene. Now, as you can see behind me here at the 1680 East Wheeler Circle home, no more tape is on like it was all afternoon. I've been here since just about 1 p.m. and Macomb PD say they have been able to confirm at least one death took place in the home and is still under investigation. They say officers from that department, the McDonough County Sheriff's Office and Illinois State Police have been on scene since just before six this morning. Police say there is no active threat to the community or neighbors. I've been here, like I said, since just after one and neighbors tell me they've heard very little as well. Robert Marshall lives next door. That's that's kind of unfortunate. Um, nothing like that has happened over here. Well, as long as I've been here, uh, it's a pretty quiet neighborhood. Um, my condolences to the family. I didn't know that that was going on, even though I'm right here next door. And a spokesman for the Sterling Group, which manages the property, says they haven't heard any details from police as well. Live in Macomb, Dylan Smith, WGEM News. All right, thank you, Dylan. And we have been able to talk to Macomb Public School Superintendent Patrick Toomey. He says four children lived in the home and they are now staying with other family members.